Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to recover your forgotten or lost Windows password using LaySoft Recovery Suite. So there's a few different software packages out there that you could use, and we have some videos on how to use them, but this one is actually, you could reset your password for free, but you can't change it for free, but you could actually go in and change it once you reset it to a blank password, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to do this on a VirtualBox VM because it involves um, some reboots and that kind of thing. And I can't record it while I'm rebooting my computer if I use the actual host computer. So I'm going to log into this VM, show you I have a password. Get the numbers lock on there. Okay, so once you are in the computer, first of all, before you do anything, you're going to need to make a... Uh, recovery, either flash drive or CD or ISO file. So if you can't get into your computer, then you need to install this on a different computer, the LaySoft recovery suite, and run it. And then you're going to see you have some options for, my resolution is a little high here, or low I should say, um, password recovery. But if you try and click it there, you say you have to burn it to a CD or USB drive before you could actually use it. You can't use it within Windows. So that's what you use this top option for. And so you select the Windows version. So if you're making a uh, recovery CD or flash drive for the same computer, you could use that or you could pick a different version of Windows. So I'm going to use the same computer. So I'm going to click Next. And then if you want to burn it to a CD, DVD, or flash drive or ISO image, you could do that. And, you know, I'm going to do an ISO image because I'm using it on VMware, but you'll probably use a flash drive if you're going to use this on your uh, physical computer or CD if you have a CD player on your computer. And you just pretty much just click on Start. And this process takes a little bit, so I'm not going to make you sit and watch it. And I've actually already created my ISO files, so I'm going to pause the video and then we'll uh, be right back. Okay, so once you have your either CD or flash drive created, you're going to need to put it in your computer and reboot. And for me to do that on a VM, I'm going to have to just uh, change my boot order on this and then reboot. And then I could show you the process. So for that in VMware, first I'm going to shut it down. And so in my VM settings, so this is not this is just informational for you because you're not going to have to use this unless you're doing it on a VM. So I have my LaySoft uh, ISO file mounted on my CD, so I just need to change the boot order from the VM. And this process will vary depending on you know your computer's age and what kind of BIOS or EFI you have. Okay, so I'm going to go into setup. Configure boot options, change boot order, and I'm going to put my virtual CD-ROM here at the top, save and exit, exit, and restart. So now this will simulate once you boot up to your USB drive or your CD-DVD, and so then you're going to want to pick the uh, LaySoft Live CD. You don't want to do this, or you could do this if you have memory problems, but this is the one you want to pick. So it kind of looks like it's starting Windows, but it's not. Okay, then you see you have the same type of screen here. You'll be able to use your mouse. And so you want to go to Password Recovery. Then you want to reset your Windows passwords, or you can also find your product key if you want. And then Next. And so you'll get this message here saying the home edition is for non-commercial use only. And for commercial use, use the professional. Say, are you using the non-commercial? Yes, because I'm doing this at home. You could actually do it at work too if you want, as long as you say yes here. Okay, so now you want to reset the local password. That's your only option. So next. And this only has one option too, because I only have one volume on here with Windows on it. Okay, now you want to pick the uh, user account, so I was logging in with admin, and then next. Okay, so now this is the only option if you can't change the password from here unless you have the, uh, the uh, serial number from purchasing the software, but you can reset or unlock it, which actually makes it a blank password. So we're going to do that and finish, and then 
we're going to have to reboot, but for me, I'm going to have to change the boot order real quick, so I'm going to shut down. Okay, so now we'll reset and we should have a blank password. Okay, so let's see what happens. So now see it just says sign in, doesn't ask for a password. So sign in with no password. And I'm in. So now from here you'd want to go ahead and, you know, add a new password unless you really want to have it blank, which you probably shouldn't. So a couple ways to do that, you could go to the settings or you could just do a control alt delete. Okay. This OneDrive nonsense. Change password. So in blank, so no old password. Put in my original password that I had before I reset it. And now I'm back in business. All right, so yeah, pretty simple. Just download the software and install it. Make your uh, flash drive or CD and then boot to that and just reset the password and you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.